Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is a comparison video of the Wear of a Weekender and the Be Prepared by Jujube. I bought this bag specifically for what I'm packing it for, which is an overnight trip that I'm taking with some friends to another city. We're going to a show and staying overnight. And I have the Be Prepared over here as well, um, just to compare the two and see which one might work better for an overnight trip with what I'm packing. I'm a minimal minimalist packer. I'm not taking a lot of things. A change of clothes, pajamas, a pair of boots that I'm going to wear to the show, and then just other essentials like facial cleansers, etc. So I'm going to start with packing the Weekender first and see what I can fit into here. I'm going to start with the Mommy Pocket. I don't know if you're familiar with the Weekender at all, but the Mommy Pocket is just a big open space. There's no internal organization in here. It does have a key fob. So what I'm going to put in here are just a few items that I have loose right now. I have a hair van, hand sanitizer, a couple of different chopsticks, a hand lotion, and um, this is baby balm that I use. I have really dry areas on my skin and I just use this to soothe it. So that's what I'm putting in there. Um, I'll put my med kit in here as well. This just has, you know, ask Advil, etc. So I'll put that in there as well. And that is the mommy pocket. This bag has no other outside um, organization except for a back tech pocket. I have an iPhone XS Max and it doesn't fit in here standing up. Even though this pocket is pretty large, it comes from here to about here, but it won't fit standing up in here. So I just have, I don't use it really. I just keep my phone in my pocket. But back here, I will probably put my chargers for my iPhone, my iWatch, and then I'd have an extra charging brick just in case with just a uh, another lightning cable. This is a pouch by Tom Bin. So I'll just put this in here and then I'll put the other chargers in there when I need to. Okay, so <coughs> this bag has nice toe straps. They have a little padding here and it comes with a messenger strap. Now, the messenger strap is very thin and it's nice, but I think if I end up taking this bag, I'm going to use the messenger strap from the Be Prepared. I have a black roses Be Prepared, and I think these two go very nicely together, actually. So I'm going to use the strap from the Be Prepared just because it's more padded and it's thicker and more comfortable. Um, I tried this with um, the other night. I had this pack to go out with my boys, and I tried it the messenger strap and it just wasn't comfortable. It sort of dug into my shoulder a little. Okay, so inside this bag, it's one main big open spot and then there's two elastic pockets on this side with a long zippered pocket here. There's two insulated bottle pockets on either side as well. And then two slip pockets on the other side of the bag. So slip pocket here, slip pocket here, and then there's no other organization in here. So this bag will pack more, <coughs> excuse me, up, and I think the Be Prepared packs more like sort of outward. So here's what I have. I have all my clothes in just a packing cube. This is just an Ikea packing cube, and I can already tell you that this is not going to work in the packing cube. So the packing cube will fit, of course. Um, there it's in, but it has to go upright. And so I don't know how I would fit my Be Ready in here. I guess I could put it right on top, but then I wouldn't be able to fit my boots. So this is the Be Ready. So I think if I was going to take um, this bag, I would have to pack the clothes outside of the packing cube. So let's do that. I'll take everything out. So this is the Be Ready, and this is secure at dusk. And like I said, this just has all of my... Um, beauty, uh, like serums and cleanser, my toothbrush, some minimal makeup, deodorant, etc. that I'll need just for the night. I do KBD and it's a 10 step system. You wash your face twice a day and you use different products for different things. So <coughs> I do want to take that and I, that will fit in the bottom of the bag. Okay. So I'm going to take the clothes out of the packing cube and try to get them in here 
separately. So I have yoga pants and a tank top, and I'm just gonna roll those. It's easier to roll things and fit them. Roll them really quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna put those on the top because those are the next day clothes. I have underwear and socks, just one pair each, and I'm gonna put those into a medium set piece. And I'll put that in one of the slip pockets in here. Then I have a t-shirt, a pair of comfy pants for the car ride home. And again, I'm gonna roll those and put those into the bag at the bottom next to the Be Ready. This will actually work way better in this bag if I do it like this. And then I have a sweatshirt also, so I'll try to get this rolled a little bit. That'll fit better. So I'll put my yoga pants and shirt on top. So now you can see how this looks in here. Here's all the clothes on this side, yoga pants on top of the be ready. And then I still have all the slip pockets on here in the inside. So I just have my reading glasses. I'm gonna put that in the one of the insulated bottle pockets. I have my wallet. This is a um, gorgeous wallet my husband got for me from San Francisco. It's beautiful leather and it matches nicely and it has a beautiful blue interior. And I'm gonna put that in the slip pocket with the, um, the elastic slip pocket back here. And that'll fit. Okay, here's my makeup bag. Um, this just has like, you know, nail clippers and file, um, nail files, some flossers, and this um, pocket has like tampons, and then in here is just other lotions, extra makeup, Aquaphor, things like that. And that is going to go into the other elastic slip pocket. And then the only thing left I have is just this little... Polaroid snap camera that I want to bring because this prints out like little pictures that you can put in your journal. And I have one more slip pocket in here and that will fit in there. Okay, so here is what we have with all of the things in. So my wallet, my makeup bag, on this side, I have the medium set piece and the Polaroid, my glasses are in this bottle pocket. Okay. And then all I need to fit are these little booties. And I think I can put them right on top. I may not be able to fit them. So let's see if I can zip this. So this is what it looks like. The boots are not really uh, fitting in there. I mean, I may be able to zip it. It doesn't want to zip with the booties in there. So. I wonder if I can put them in a different way. This, this way and this way like that. This way. Let's see if that'll work. Mm, okay. So it won't really comfortably zip up. I'm not really comfortable pulling the zipper. So this is what we have for this bag. Okay. So otherwise beyond, you know, if I didn't need to bring those boots, <laughs> it would work. Um, I don't really want to wear them there and home. So I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to take everything out and put it into the be prepared. I'll start with the mommy pocket on the Be Prepared. I think everyone's familiar with this bag, but if not, the mommy pocket has um, an eyeglass case, a little pocket here, two mesh pockets down below, a zipper pocket, and then a key fob here. So everything that I have in the Ever bag down here, I will put in there. So my med kit, I will put up here. And I have hand sanitizer. And I have these little items. 
I will put all of these in the mesh down here. That all works. What else? That's it down there. Okay. So as you can see, I still have a ton of room left in the mommy pocket. I'm going to put my reading glasses in here. And then I still have this pocket and this mesh pocket to work with. My reading glasses are here. So I'm going to put these in this pocket here. Then I still have a bunch of room if I needed it and I could... I don't really like to put my wallet in that pocket because it pulls it forward. Um, then that, behind it is a snap pocket, which is a very strong snap. You could put things down in here. This is probably where I'll sit my phone. It's a very hard pocket to button, which I guess is good. So you can slip your phone down in here. You can slip your wallet down in there. It's just a nice extra pocket. Then on the back of the bag, is another snap pocket where the changing pad goes, which I don't have because I don't need the change pad. It has two bottle pockets on both sides. They are magnetic. So if you use a bottle that is bigger than this, you can just slip that pocket, you know, that cover in there and just use the pocket as that, that way. Okay, so let's open the bag. The beaker pad opens in a U-shape like this. I'm gonna put the strap down in there so we can get it out of the way. Okay, so this is what the Be Prepared looks like. So it has a long mesh pocket here, a smaller mesh pocket here. It has a mesh bottle pocket on this side, another mesh bottle pocket on this side. Then around this side, it has a slip pocket, which is a good place to put the flap of the bag when you're trying to keep it open. And then another long mesh pocket and then another smaller mesh pocket. So this bag has gussets, so it'll um, you can open it and then just keep it open. So I'm gonna take everything out of the ever and um, put it in here the way I had it packed in, into the ever bag. So first I'll take my wallet and I'm gonna put that on the mesh pot in the mesh pocket against the back because otherwise it will pull this forward. Same thing with my makeup bag. It's going to go into the smaller mesh pocket on the back. Okay, my be ready is going to go in just like that. And then all the clothes that I have on the side are gonna go in next to the be ready. So this is what I have so far. This is my um, change of clothes, my be ready wallet and makeup bag. I still have my pajamas and I'm gonna actually put those into this mesh pocket here just to keep the, the top of the bag open in case I need to throw something on top. But the yoga pants and the tank top rolled up will fit into this mesh pocket here. Um, I have the Sakura Swirl, uh, Sakura, Sakura at Dusk medium with my underwear and socks. And I'll just put that into the smaller mesh pocket next to that. And then I have my camera. And I could put that, I could put that on top, or I can just put that slip down in here, so I can have it for easy, easy grabbing. Okay, so that's everything that was in the Ever bag. Here's how it looks in the Be Prepared. So here is the medium set, the yoga pants, the change of clothes, the Be Ready, with room on top, wallet, makeup bag, and then down here is the camera. Let's see it zipped. more space on top here that I could utilize if I needed it 
I'm gonna take these clothes out now and just throw them back into the packing cube just so I can show you that they will all fit in here in the packing cube and how that will work as well. So really quick. Okay, so here's the packing cube, and it will go and lay right on the bottom of the beefy beard. I took the medium set piece out and put the underwear and the socks in here because so it's not needed anymore. And then I just am putting the beef ready on top. And then the boots will go right on the side of that. I don't think this should be. So here is how it looks, and I will just zip it so you can see that. Little zip. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the packing cube. I think I like the way it packs better without the packing cube, to be honest with you. Um, but it's nice to know that it will fit just in case. And I always feel the more bags you use inside of bags, the bulkier they become. So. Okay, here is what we have now. So, the bag is definitely going to zip up all the way with everything on top. I still have a little tiny bit of space on top of the Be Ready here. Let me just zip it up all the way so you can see. It zips up pretty easily. The zippers are nice and smooth. My camera is in here. Zip this. that another time. So this is what it looks like. All fully packed. I think the Be Prepared is the one that's going to win just because of the boots. If I didn't have those and I was just wearing one pair of shoes, um, the other bag would work. But because I'm bringing another pair of shoes with me, I feel like this is the, the better bag here. So I like them both and um, I'm keeping them both. I uh, like to make this work for me, but I feel like this is this is the winner here. And this one is just going to be a good everyday out with all my kids bag. So I hope this helps you and I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.